Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. It is the beginning of the month. So of course, as with every other month, I will show you guys some of the best new iPhone apps that you must have on your iPhone during this month. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out a lot for this video to do much, much better. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. The first app for the video is called Find Replace. Now this is a very useful app as it allows you to replace any text, any word or any letter on any part of the text that you have that you have pasted into this app. So all you gotta do is just enter the text right here. Of course, if you have a text where you need to replace something, you can just copy that and paste it right here on the app. Once you have done that, you go to finding and here you just set what you wanna find. So in this case, I will wanna find the letter T and replace it with the letter W. So what we need to do is tap okay there and you can see now what we can do here is just tap on replace and it will show me basically the text right there that is replacing and you can go ahead and just replace them one by one or you can hide this and just simply tap on replace all and what this does is that it will replace all of those letters or the words that you have entered all at the same time as you can see right there everything has now been replaced so anytime you need like to add like a symbol or a character that you basically won't find on your keyboard you can just simply enter something else instead of it and then just go ahead and replace that using this app the next app for the video is called not now this one is really interesting and probably very useful for a lot of people because it's summertime and a lot of people will go camping or maybe climbing or fishing and stuff like that. You can see what we have here on the home screen of the app. You will find all different kinds of categories here, stuff that you do, and you will also have here different categories as well. So different types of ropes you will have here. If everything in one place so if you just want to browse through here you can do that and of course you will have your favorites right here now what this does basically choose what you want to do so let's just try camping right here and you will have here a lot of different like ropes and stuff that you can do and you can just go ahead and choose whichever one you want to do and it will basically show you how to do that so we'll have the slider right here to move on this kind of video here back and forth and you can also set its speed using this slider right here so you can slower take it okay take a look at this and of course just know exactly how to do that so if you're into this kind of stuff then this will be very very useful now right here we'll also have a button to favorite one of these and of course then you will be able to find them under the favorites category which you can find right here under the me tab and here are here have your favorites and of course you can go ahead and from here quickly find anything that you have saved web capture offline is the next app for the video it allows you to save complete websites so that you can take a look at them offline it will basically take a screenshot which can be also saved as a picture of the entire website so all you have to do is just enter your website right here you can of course view it on the browser of this app and you take a screenshot right there what this does it will save the complete website for offline reading and you will have it all right here tap that little save button right there and you can save it on the app now when you want to find the websites that you have saved you go here and you go to capture it and you will have your websites right here all of them have been saved and of course you can go ahead and take a look at them directly from here now if you want to save these under the camera roll you just tap that little share button and you can go ahead and save this as an image on the camera roll of your device now the difference from this to the screenshot that you can take using the default feature of the iPhone is that when you take it with the iPhone you know you can save the full page but that's a PDF file you won't be able to actually save it as a picture with this app you can save that as an image zoomable is the next app for the video is basically a desktop browser for your iphone it will load every website on its desktop like mode and you can see right here how it looks it looks actually pretty awesome you will have the slider which lets you zoom in and out on the website you will have the usual like browser controls right here at the top so you have the refresh home you have your bookmarks and you will have the settings as well you can go to your tabs here now 
The free version allows to only have one tab at a time, but if you want to have multiple tabs, you will have to pay for a pro version. Now, the cool thing is that you also have this like full screen mode. You can see how good this looks. You will have a full screen browser right here, which actually looks really, really awesome. Every time you enter a website here, it will load automatically on its desktop mode. You don't have to actually go and have to do that manually if you want to just browse anything on the desktop mode, maybe like YouTube, which then will allow you to use the picture in picture mode. You can do that from this app. The next app for the video is Invisible Icons. This app allows you to add invisible icons on the home screen of your device so you can get those clear spaces and create some really nice setups on the home screen of your device. Now the way it works, you go to the home screen and you go to the last page here where you don't have any apps. So you go on the edit mode, you go here and take a screenshot. Once you have done that, you go into the app and actually load that screenshot. So let's just do that. So once you have loaded that screenshot, you just pick the place where you want to add the empty like space. So let's just try that one right here. You can just tap here, add to desktop. It will open this on Safari. You go ahead and tap, go to the share sheet and tap to add it to the home screen. So add to home screen, click add, and now you're good to go. You go to the home screen and just place it right there where it should be. So if I just go ahead and drag it and release it right here, click done you can see now we have an empty space right there so this way you can go ahead and create some really awesome setups on the home screen of your iphone the next app for the video is check later now check later is an app that allows you to save the links that you will need in the future so basically we'll have a list of links here you can search your links and of course you can also rearrange them or filter them from here now the cool thing is that you will also have these dots right here that let you know whether you, you did open that link or not which is actually very useful now when you tap on it it will open it directly on safari and you will have here the widgets that come with this app. It has like four different widgets. You can see right here, it shows you the links that you didn't open. So if you just tap right there and open that link, you can see that will be removed from the widget right there. And it says that you're all caught up. And this one right here, when you have a link on your, cl on your clipboard, all you gotta do is just tap right there and it takes you right into the app and will add that link to the app. So you can see how easy that is. You just tap on the widget, which is kind of interactive, which most iOS 14 widgets are not. So that's a very, very useful. And you can see it shows right here on the check later widget on the medium one. And of course it tells you that you didn't open that link still. And of course you can go ahead and do that then from here. Fscan will let you scan any document you want. It is very easy to use and it has some really useful features. So once you take a picture of a document, you can see right here, you have the ability to crop it. And of course, you can do that very precisely with this tool. So you just go ahead and arrange basically these dots right there at the corners of the document and you're good to go. You can see right here, we have like different modes. You can crop from here. And then of course you can go ahead and change to like different setups of this basically document using all these kind of different filters and you will also have here the ability to sign the document so you add your signature here of course when you want to sign a document that you have scanned you can do that from here and if you tap on all here we'll show you the complete document before you have actually cropped it and if you go to color right here you can go ahead and change between like different colors and of course give the document a more natural look mstats is a very useful app that will show you basically everything you need to know for your device right here at the top you will see the disk info so it will show the usage of your disk you have the free the used and the total then you have the ram memory info right there you have your network and you will also have here the battery info it of course offers ios 14 widgets so you can see if you tap on one of them it shows you the different widgets that you will be able to add for basically that category so if we go right here on disk info you can see we have different ones and you can choose whichever one you want to activate and then of course go ahead and add it to the home screen of your ios 14 device next up is emma watch faces it offers a huge collection of watch faces 
for your Apple Watch. Now, of course, right here, we'll find different categories, which you can go ahead and check. You tap on one of them and you will see a ton of different watch faces that you can add to your Apple Watch. Now, once you find one that you like, you go ahead and tap on it. You can, of course, move between them from here and then just tap add watch face now now what this does it will basically save it under the camera roll of your device and then from there you can just go ahead and use it as a normal picture to set it up as a watch face on your apple watch and last but not least is counter pro now this is a tele counter that allows to easily count things that are important now you can go ahead and just add the counters from here you can choose the other name the goal and of course the color now once you have done that you will see right here your counters and you can just tap the plus or the minus button to add an item basically to that counter of course you can edit it or delete it directly from here so that's basically for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed the video and the apps if you want to download any of them make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one